Hello everyone and welcome to Brent Cross West Station. At the time of recording, London's newest railway station opened in December 2023. Passing through now, first of all, is going to be a Thameslink service running from East Croydon to Bedford. That was 700.004 on a service running to Bedford Thameslink, not running between East Croydon and Brighton Horsham today due to engineering work. So yes, Brent Cross West last time I was here, still very much under construction with both concourses not complete yet. Um, Brent Cross West serving the new Brent Cross Town development, which is, you can see, start to see some buildings popping up just over here. And I would have visited this station at some point anyway, just to have a look around. But this time we're going to do a bit of a train spotting video, because as you can see, Brent Cross West station has really very, very good views. Um, across all the fast lines. Some ish, some stations on the Midland Main Line, such as I'm thinking Mill Hill Broadway, Elstrian, Boreham Wood, Hendon, have the issue where they have sort of gates to the fast lines. But this station offers completely unrestricted access to the fast lines. Here on Platform 3, which is the left hand track you can see on the camera now, you have East Midlands Railway services passing through at full speed, one of which we'll have in just a moment's time. I believe. This is to leave pr um, provision for East Midlands Railway to allow stopping services on the fast lines here. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if um, Thames Link stops some of their services uh, on the fast lines here at the moment. It's very cold, so I've placed myself strategically very close to the waiting room. So, services seen today will be operated by Thames Link, East Midlands Railway, using a variety of rolling stock. So, let's see what turns up here today. As running a handful of minutes late, as Arthur mentioned, East Britain's railway service running from Sheffield to London St Pancras. Triple two double oh seven. As passing through now, we have another East Midlands Railway uh, class triple two bound for Sheffield. Triple two one oh one. The four car triple two dash ones have recently been strengthened to become five car units. As right, also arriving now is the slightly delayed twelve oh three Thameslink service from Sutton to St Albans City, which is seven hundred zero twelve today. As you can see, not a huge amount of passengers getting on, but that's understandable at the moment as the area that the station is meant to serve hasn't actually been built yet. Oh, lots of people getting off though. I'm surprised, already at 12 o'clock, maybe a good 20 people got off this train. So I take back what I said. The station is being pretty well used already. As off goes the 12.03, Thameslink service running from Sutton to St Albans. This one's next stop will be at Hendon. I can see some lights in the distance as well. It looks a bit like we have another passing Thameslink service. Oh, 70026, I believe, yup, that was the uh, passing service going from Bedford to East Croydon, that would normally be a Bryson service. Oh, everything's turning up. We are 12.11, Thameslink service to Sutton from St Albans City, which is 700007, Palindroic. As I'm going to move swiftly over to pass platform 4 because I can see another East Britain's Railway Meridian passing through. 
which is going to be this time a Nottingham service. Operated by Triple Two Zero Ten. In very good time to see 70007 head off with its next stop just a little bit down the line at Cricklewood. See Cricklewood Depot, just you might be able to see. A few 700s just poking their heads out of the depot on the left hand side there. Just sitting here in the waiting room, this departure board just on the ceiling here reminds me of the departure boards at Heathrow. I think just something about the font and something about the orange lettering. If you've been to Heathrow before, you'll see what I mean. As passing through now, we have another Thameslink service running from East Croydon to Bedford, operated by a class 700. It's going to be a 12 car this time, I wonder. Seven hundred zero three three, just an eight car this time. I suspect all the 12 cars are probably out doing King's Glen services or Ely services today. That service would normally start at Three Bridges, so that's one of the services, one of those services you have to be very, very careful of if you're in London that run direct from St Pancras International to St Albans. Which will be this next stop. So we're a bit by surprise there, so I'm zero thirty arriving in now with a service running from Sutton to St Albans City. Moving on time, this one, unlike the previous one, something just a little bit further down the platform. How many passengers are going to get, get off this one, I wonder? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six passengers. Not bad, considering it's midday on a Saturday. You're not going to be travelling out of London on midday on a Saturday unless you've got something very important to do. It's going to probably be busier this evening. Oh, it looks like it's departing straight away. 1218 service to St Albans City now departing, calling at Hendon, Mill Hill, Broadway, Elstree and Boreham Wood, Radlett and St Albans City will arrive in just under 20 minutes time. Three sixty one one four and three sixty one oh three. They're passing through. Nearly missed that again. That is on a service running from, as usual, Corby to London to Bankshire International. One of their Luton Airport Express services they brand it as. That would have run direct from Luton Airport Parkway to here, carrying all of the passengers that have travelled to Luton Airport on this freezing January afternoon. As it looks like we've got another service passing platform four now. Can't quite see what it is from here. Ah, it's another 360. This one is going back to Corby. Three sixty one twenty and three sixty one oh two. Of course, all those three, 360s used to belong to Great Anglia, operating on services out of London Liverpool Street. Another triple two! Triple two double oh two with its destination set to Bedford, passing through with a service running from Nottingham to London St Pancras International, with its next stop of course being at London St Pancras. The announcements for Platform 2 here are really late, sorry, Platform 3 here are very late, so you don't hear the Platform 3 trains until it's a bit too late. I should be re relying on my own 
I've got a real time trains app open on my phone. I'm just sort of being lazy at the moment. Gonna have another barrage of trains coming through in a moment. But before we do, I think it's time for question of the video if you made it this far. At the time of recording, which is January 2024, what is the next railway station in the UK which is scheduled to open? So again, what is the next scheduled station in the UK to open? I'll stand in the comments below. As arriving now is going to be the 1217 Thameslink service running from Luton to Raynham, one of the semi-fast services operating on this line. Seven hundred double O one got the top Dunsford, number. Stone Crossing, Greenheim, Swanscombe, Northfleet, Gravesend, Higher, Strew, Rochester, Chatham, Gillingham, and Raynham. First class accommodation is not available on the train. Please note, some of the lifts at Woolwich Arsenal are currently out of. Seven hundred zero eleven also arrived in on the opposite platform, running from Raynham to Luton. That's on the 12.25 service, we'll see that depart uh, in just a moment, but before we do, it looks like the 12.23 service is going to head off first. I believe this one runs direct to West Hampstead Thameslink, but I'm not too sure. Very slow start there. Seven hundred double one. Seven hundred zero eleven is also departing. Brilliant timing there. Bound for Luton of its next stop at Mill Hill Broadway, skipping Hendon along the way. Song calls yep at Mill Hill Broadway, Elstree and Boreham Wood, Radlett, St Albans City, Harpenden. Luton Airport Parkway and finally Luton. Seven hundred one one eight passing through there. Go into the mysterious land of check station screens, which I believe is likely to be East Croydon. So all these trains on the middle of mainland, all these Thameslink services going to check station screens. I'd love to go there, wouldn't you? Sounds like such an interesting and mysterious place. That is a really old car there, wow. Bet that doesn't comply with you, Luz. Two trains now, not too sure what the best place to stand is, probably somewhere around here. Arriving in first of all is going to be the 1220 something, 1226 Thameslink service running from Luton, uh, St Albans City to Sutton, sorry, which is 7005. Running by Wimbledon this time. As also passing through is going to be an East Midlands Railway Meridian running from Sheffield to London St Pancras. I can just not see the distance coming through. Can you see that? It's like a seven car this time. So it won't be completely rammed like most of Eastern's Railway's five car services are. Nope, 22022 and 021, so it was a ten car. That's even better than a seven car. 700.005 is departing out now next, stop being at Cricklewood. So an engineer of 36 arriving in now. With the 1233 attempting service to St Open City from Sutton. 
some services do tend to t do tend to stop towards the northern end of the platform here. I assume that's where the main sort of concourse area is, which is fair enough. Again, quite a busy train. As off goes our 1233 service to St Alban City. Calling next at Hendon. So 9019 passing there, we just come up to a little overbridge between the two platforms. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to get access to platforms 3 and 4 today, but I like the interesting orange and black theme, I wonder why that is. Is that a theme of Brent Cross Town maybe? Because it seems to bear no relevance to Thames Link or EMR. Uh, 7060 arrives, passing through now is going to be another East Middle Road Meridian. Shop 2017 having made its ascent from London's Pancras in the space of just 7 minutes passes through with its next stop being at Kettering. 760, so we've seen the top number of the 700s, we've seen the bottom number of the 700s today as well. This I believe is going to Sutton. Yep, via Mitcham Junction, ready to depart out now on the 1241 service. Its next stop being, as of course we've all uh, Sutton Loop services at Cricklewood. Another tip, just in case you didn't know, on Thames Link services from uh, between Luton and Raynham and of course between St Albans and Sutton, first class at the front and rear is declassified, so you can go and sit in there if you want to pretend to be first class. The seats, the seats aren't much better in first class of the 700. As I believe the final train of the day is going to be a Thames Link service passing through, running slower than I expected actually, running from East Croydon to Bedford, another 12 car this one. Seven, I guess that one stopped at West Hampstead, so it's still an accelerating run. Next off that one, we'll be at St Albans. That's making interesting noises. As arriving in now is going to be my train, the 1247 Thames Link service to Raynham. London Blackfriars, London Bridge, Deptford, Greenwich, Mains Hill, Westcombe Park, Charlton. Which is going to be 700 0, 020. Abbey Wood, Slade Green, Dartford, Stone Crossing, Greenheim, Swanscombe, Northfleet, Gravesend, Higham, Strood, Rochester, Chatham, Gillingham, and Raynham. Yes, thank you all very, very much for watching this video today. I really do hope you enjoyed. If you did, then do click the like button down below and do consider subscribing if you enjoy my content for some reason. I look forward to welcome back to the channel soon, but until then, goodbye from me and goodbye from Brent Cross West. Bye everyone.